Good morning, everyone. My name is Li Lin. I'm glad to be here to represent our team for our paper, Automatic Search for Key Bridging Technique, Applications to Adobe Alcan 2. My presentation can be divided into these five parts. In the first part, I will give some notations, the input of our tool and the key bridging technique on both cybers. In the second part, I will give our automatic search tool from key bridging technique. In the third and first part, I will apply our tool to the attacks on Adobe York and Twin. In the fifth part, I will conclude this paper. Now let's begin with our first part. In this paper, WKI means the eyes round key register. RKI means the eyes round key. WKIJ means the Z's word of WKI. WKIJ0 to Z1 means the Z0's word to Z1's word of WKI. WKIK means the case bit of WKI. WKIJK means the case bit of WKIJ. WKI left shift B means B bit left cyclic shift of WKI. The input of our tool is a system of equations that describe the key schedule and the key variables which we want to find relations among. Since our tool works not only for word-oriented block cipher, but also a bit-oriented block cipher, we take the key schedule of AS192 and Python ATS as examples. The key schedule of AS192 is then an 192-bit master key into nine key registers WK0 to WKA as follows. Here, plus means XOR, S means Xbox permutation, and R com means now constant. The key schedule of present 80 extend an 80-bit master key into 32 key registers WK0 to WK31 as follows. When we attack some ciphers, we need to get some keys. If we can find relations among these sub-key bits, we can improve the capacity. The, however, the relations of same round are easy to see. The relations of two rounds separated by some missing steps are very hard to find. The key between technique is proposed by Dunkerman et al. on AES192 in Asia Quiv 2010. By the key schedule of AS192, knowledge of, of colon 013 of the subkey R7 allows to deduce colon 3 of the white key RK minus 1. As we can see in this finger, colon 1 and 3 of RK7 allows to deduce colon 3 of RK4. Colon 0 and 1 of RK7 allows to deduce colon 3 of RK5. And the knowledge of these two columns allows to deduce colon three of RK minus one. At SFSE 2014, DLL introduced another application of key bridging technique called key dependency technique. As we can see in this finger, we can get U2 and RK3 from the encryption and decryption directions. And by the key schedule, the first two columns of RK2 can be deduced from RK3. And with a probability of 2 to the power minus 16, there is a match. Besides, they find that the whole attack can be spread out into some weak key attacks according to the relation between subkeys. As we can see, K prime is the key used in the pre-computation phase, and K wave is the key used in the online phase, and K wave is in intersection. If we in the because we can divide the pre-computation table into some subtables according to the value of K wave. We can, in the online phase, we only need to detect a small table according to the value of K wave. At FSE 2015, Boykov et al. applied the key fusion technique to meet them in the middle and impossible differential attacks on 25 rounds between 128. At ACIC 2014, one et al. gave zero correlation linear attacks on LBOC and twin with key bridge technique. Next, I will go give our automated search tool for key bridge technique. Here is uh, some notation used in this session. Vx is a vector space spanned by one x s x for all x belong to x. X is the set of all internal key variables. K0 is the variables that we want to build key bridges man. K is the variables that K0 can propagate to, and M is the coefficient matrix made by the key schedule equation E. Our goal is to find relations among K0. This tool consists of two phase. Knowledge propagation phase, we derive a set K that K0 can propagate to. Relation derivation phase, we get the relations of the variables in K0 from K. We should make sure that 
for the knowledge propagation phase of order-oriented Bruce cipher, we could we should make sure that the order of variables is x minus k, k, c. Here minus means the supplementary set of k in x. C is the column for constant. Since it's known to us, we, we ignore it for simplicity, for clearness. CJEM means that we convert M into reduced row echelon form by Gauss Jordan elimination. CJENM means that we convert the first N columns into reduced row echelon form. For S boss, we have still three situations to propagate an energy. If either X or SX belongs to K, then the other one can be deduced. If layer S is a linear combination L of VK, such that for X not in K, X plus L is in E, then X can be deduced from K. If layer S is a near near combination L of VK, such that layer S is a near near combination of X, SX, and L belongs to E, then X can be deduced from K. Gauss Jordan elimination can be dealt with these three situations. For situation one, it's obvious. For situation two, holds if and only if like S is one row like this. In M after Gauss Jordan elimination, then X is no, so as X S X. Here E X is the coefficient of X. As we can see, S can be represented by a linear combination of variables in K. So X is no. Situation three holds if and only if one of the following two cases hold in M after Gauss Jordan elimination. The coefficients of X and XS are both pivot elements, and the corresponding rows are like this and this. We can multiply this row by C and add it to this row, and we can transfer this case to case two, so we only need to see case two. One of the coefficient of x and sx is pivot elements, for example x, and the corresponding row is like this. As we can see, in this row, a linear combination of x and xs can be presented by variables, linear combination of variables in k, so x is known. When a new variables x become a member of k, we have to make the order of variables like this unchanged. So we have the following number. Calling operations keep the linear relation we get from situation two and three unchanged, i.e. these relations can be recovered from the last k plus one columns of CJEM. This lemma says that after CJE, Gauss Jordan elimination, the matrix can be represented as block matrix as a list. All the linear relations we get from situation two and three x in A2. This is the pseudo code for knowledge propagation phase. The main step is that we use situations one, two, and three to get more information. Mm -hmm. And if more information variables are known, we should change columns and update K, change columns to make the order of matrix unchanged, and redo the Gauss Jordan elimination and, and get more information again. The output of this pursuit code is a new set K and a block matrix M. Since the output of the former phase is like this, a block matrix, we have that if the rank of this matrix is greater than the rank of this A0, we should go forward to the relation derivation phase. By Gauss Jordan elimination, the linear relations among K0 can be known by A2. However, more information can be known by Xbox F operations as follows. We have a new step called new variable adding. If layer S is X belongs to K minus K0 and L prime belongs to VK0 such that X plus L prime belongs to EK, then we should add an S before X and L prime, and we can get this. Add a new row corresponding to this to A2. The reason we do this is that if layer S is uh, <coughs> an L prime prime belongs to VK0 such that SX plus L prime 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 belongs to EK, then we should add this with this. We can get a linear combination of S L prime and L prime prime. And the variables in L prime and L prime prime are both in K0. So this is exactly one key bridge we want. <laughs> Sorry. And or otherwise, if layer S is a row like this, S X plus E Y multiple Y plus L prime prime belongs to E K. Then add this and this, we can get a row like this. 
e y multiply multiply y plus s l prime plus l prime prime belongs to e k. We can add an s before this and this. We can get a form like this. And y can be used to propagate knowledge just as x. This is the pseudo code for regression derivation phase. The main step is that we will variable ID. And if more variables are known, then we should update k and k0 and change the columns to make the order of variables unchanged and redo the Gauss Jordan elimination and get more variables. And the output of this tool is that we can get relations from those of k0 in A2. For the tool for bit oriented cipher, since they have operations on what level, for example, Xbox, and bit level, for example, cyclic script, the case situation two and three of the former, former tool is no longer suitable for, um, for Xbox. So we have the following. Xbox formulation treats B bits as a union. The following demo is used to deal with the situation. Let this be the input of this Xbox and this be the output of this Xbox. If the value in any B out of two B input output bits of one Xbox are known, then the values in the other B bits are uniquely determined and can be computed efficiently. This means that B linear relations allows to deduce the, the entropy of this Xbox to zero. And this situation can be dealt with go at ghost Jordan elimination and get more information from Xbox. This step is used to propagate knowledge problem gates in what oriented cyber. Let S be a set of input and output bit variables of an Xbox. If the order of variables in M is like this, and CJM can be represented as this. Then the bit variables of S can be uniform determined and if an only F rank D3 is greater or equal to this, where NK is the number of bits in S which are already in K. The rank of D3 is greater than this means that we can get B linear relations among the input of an output of this S box. And these relations allow to reduce the entropy of this S box to zero. For the relation derivation phase, this step is used to replace the new variable adding. Suppose the, uh, the order of variables in K is like this, and CJA2 can be represented as this. We have the following two situations. We take an example of a four bit Xbox as to show this. This is the key bits we want to find relations among, i.e., K0. And this is a four bit Xbox. If we can find four bits from K0, and the other, since four bits are enough to reduce the entropy of this Xbox to zero, we can get a relation of the other four bits. And we should add these four equations to A2. And here, L prime means how this relation is got. However, if we can get one more relation, since four bits are enough to reduce the entropy of this Xbox to zero, again, we can get three relations. And these relations can be used to filter the value in K0. And this is exactly one key bridge we want. Next, I will apply our tool to the attack on LBOC. LBOC, the block length of LBOC is 64 bits, and the key length is 80 bits. One round, this is one round of LBOC, and this is the key schedule of LBOC. The first 64 bits are used as now key. For the impossible differential attack on LBOC, we automated the search of the best impossible differential attack by combining Wu's automatic search tool for impossible differential distinguished with our tool. And we used the formula borrow at our purpose to compute the complexity of impossible differential attack according to his parameters. <coughs> the attack is like this, where this means that the position of input respective output in equilibrium of R D now distinguish is L A respective L B. And the number of rounds before respective after the distinguish R B respective R E. This is the online phase of the, the attack, 
We can find 71 linear independent key bridge one these 36 gas now key nibbles, which can assume 2 to the power 73 values. This is the attack complexity. For the zero correlation core attack on LR block, we use the password compression technique one at L proposed at SCISP 2014. The attack is like this. For the input active label of the distinguish can be represented by, represents by parentheses and key labels as follows. The output in act the output active label of the distinguish can be represented by ciphertext and key labels as follows. Since the main this lane complexity of this test comes from step 4.2 just as one error at the one at error's paper. We saw the key bridges of this step as follows. The guest key of step 4.1 are like this. And we can get the normal key bridges like this. And we can get a more complex, complicated key bridges. These ABS are from this bits from these keys. For, since these four bits are input of one Xbox, we can get these three bits. And from these three bits, we can get the, the, these three bits. And from these four bits, we can get the, these four bits. Since these seven bits are input output of one Xbox, and four linear relations are enough to reduce the entropy of this Xbox to zero, we can get three bits to filter the value of these eight bits. This is the 33 key bridges we want. The 80 bit parent text and subtext state value can be reduced to 60 bit after guessing the 14 bit equivalent, equivalent key. The type complexity of this step is like this Xbox SS. The guessity of step 4.2 are WK220. We can get more complicated key bridges and a new state with 56 bit length. The kind Complexity of this step is like this, as box assess. The total time complexity is like this. For the attacks on twin, the block length of twin is 64 bits and the key length is 80 bits and 128 bits respectively. This is one round twin. And this is the key schedule of twin 80. Then, Nibble 1, 3, 4, 6, 13, 14, 15, 16 is used as the A nibble now key of round I. For the zero correlation linear crypt analysis, for the attacks on 20 sound, 3 round, 20, 80, 1 and LL, so key bridges like this. However, thanks to our key bridging technique, we find this. So the key bridges they use are not true. This will make the type complexity of step 4.1 in their paper greater than extortive search. So the attack we use is like this. Three key bridges we found are like this, this, and this. At step 4.1, four nibbles can be compressed to one nibbles by guessing two key, two nibbles of keys. For once attack on 25 round, 128, we find another key bridges beside their four key bridges like this. This can make a better complexity. Besides, we can find an attack with a slight better complexity. Combining for the impossible differential and the middle, the middle attacks, we combine it with tool for impossible differential distinguish with our automatic search tool. We found in total 12 attacks with the same complexity as Boykov at Eros paper in FSC 2015. Combining links propagate and prune tool for meter middle middle distinguish and our automated search tool, we find some attacks with the same complexity as Boykov and Earl's Peter in FSD 2015. One of these attacks is like this. This attack is useful when we want to get less false positive. Finally, let's conclude our paper. In this paper, we study the key bridging technique. Dunkman et al. proposed to deduce some sub-key bits from some other Stuck key bits. 
We present a visible and powerful algorithm for searching key bridging technique on what oriented and bit oriented procedures. To demonstrate the usefulness of our approach, we use our tool to the impossible differential and multi dimension zero correlation linear attacks on 23 round L block, 23 round twin, and 80 and 25 round twin 128. This is the summary of the attack results. Thank you.